Hey guys, it's Megan or Mad Little Crafter here and I am back for another Mad Little Chatter finally. It is only the second one I've done of this and <laughs> it was very on a whim because I know I wanted to film one. I wanted to film one really badly and then I was just sitting at my desk a little while ago and I was like, you know what? I have time. Might as well just film it right now and just not get it over with but just like finally get it done because I'm... <sighs> it's been crazy. I didn't know working re- well, I, I kind of expected it, but working retail in the holiday season was more bananas than I expected. And then I had the convention on um, the end of November, and then I had everybody's- I make everyone's Christmas gifts, that's what I always do, is I make everybody's Christmas gifts. So I had all of those, all at the same time, but it's finally over. I've gotten all of my commission shipped out. It is the new year. It is time to start- filming things and really getting back into this YouTube channel because I have neglected it. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but I have. Um, so I'm back with another Mad Little Chatter. This one will probably go up before videos that I filmed way before this. I have a package opening that I filmed um, that was kind of like an Etsy haul that was a, while, a long time ago, but I still want to post that and showcase some stuff that I got from some awesome artists and other crafters. So I'm definitely gonna still post that. I have a Wizarding World vlog because I did go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So <laughs> that was a really bad accent. I'm sorry, but I try. Um, I can only do a British accent when I say Harry Potter. I realize I can do it sometimes if I'm like imitating Harry Potter, so to speak. But if I just go Harry Potter, then I can kind of do it. <laughs> but yeah, so I decided to jump back in for another mad little chatter and talk to you guys for about 10-15 minutes. I'm at two minutes already. Um, so it's the new year. It is sometime in the very beginning of January. I can't really remember right now. <laughs> but I that is when I am filming this. I am in my filming corner right now. I've kind of moved it around. I might save the office or the craft room for like other things, but this has become my filming corner, which is a corner in my bedroom where I have a ton of artwork. Um, I do need to, I got a lot of artwork from, um, where did I go? WonderCon and, um, Palm Springs Comic Con, and I do want to fill up the rest of this wall. Sorry, Sherlock, you're coming down. I'm putting other posters back here. Captain America can stay, but Sherlock's probably coming down and I have a frozen poster up there that's coming down and I'm gonna fill it up with artwork from other artists and all their links and all their everything will be in the description box below so you can check that out and find all of their cool stuff. But, oh man, just to start blabbering, um, what I am working on right now is actually the first thing I've worked on for myself in a long time. It is an infinity scarf and it's Superman themed because my friend Adri got me into DC <laughs> and like I had been actively avoiding DC comics for the longest time like the longest time not because they're bad or anything I think they're really cool but because like you see this this is Captain America I was a Marvel girl I was 100% Marvel I mean like X-Men is my jam I love me some Charles Xavier. I love Captain America. I have like tons of Captain America stuff in this room. He is like, Steve Rogers is precious. But I love Captain America and just like, ugh, everything Marvel and Spider-Man and just like, and there's a Deadpool sock right here if that says anything to you guys. And then like, this is my room, right everybody? This is a Wolverine that's just chilling out over here. So <laughs> I was 100% Marvel and then she's just like hey you know who's really cool Batman and I'm like oh great like you know Batman whatever and she's like you know who you'd really like Superman and gosh darn it now I bought Man of Steel and I bought Batman versus Superman which isn't very good because of the editing but it's still ugh, Superman's pretty so yeah no but now because of that I am making DC things and it is a big problem, but this is going to be a really cool Superman Infinity Scarf. I'm going to put a red border on both sides and then I am going to um, add his insignia on it too. But the pattern I did get from one of, it's the first pattern I'm following from one of the inside wrappers of a yarn. Um, 
I say it wrong apparently. I'm gonna say skein. Hannah, don't kill me. I think I said it 100% wrong, but one of the wrappers that goes around a ball of yarn. That's where I got this pattern from and it's actually turning out really cool. I really like it. It's just a bunch of double crochets and I'm really excited to wear this actually so it's gonna be really cool. So I'm really into DC now. It's horrible and like it sucks because when I was younger I watched the Teen Titans all the time. I loved the Teen Titans so I loved Starfire and Robin and Raven and Beast Boy and Cyborg. They were like that was my childhood show and she used that against me so <laughs> now I'm just like all into this all over again and it's so bad but it's fun at the same time and then on top of that I did see Fantastic Beasts and where to find them and I loved it I loved it so much anybody who follows my Twitter probably knows they're just like holy crap Megan shut up you've talked about Fantastic Beasts so much already but I really liked it I enjoyed it it was one of those ones where if you take it as just an extension of the Harry Potter franchise and if you already love Harry Potter, you're gonna like it, I think. Like, it's not like an end-all, be-all amazing movie. I mean, it's not a groundbreaking movie, but it's just the charm about it and the magic and all that stuff that I'm a huge sucker for was great. The beasts were really cool. I fell in love with Newt Scamander. And then, like, I, when I fall in love with something, it's immediately, like, my shirt says Newt Scamander, Magic Zoologist. It's a problem. <laughs> but, you know, I fell in love with that, and it was great, and now I'm just, like, everything's Fantastic Beasts and Harry Potter again, and then I'm just getting back into all this stuff. Everything's Star Wars all over again, too. I just saw Rogue One last night, and I will talk about that a little more in a second, but... You can look forward to my shop update having a lot of Harry Potter stuff because I have been working on house scarves and house um, headbands and then I want to make some of the characters too and it's just going to be loads of fun. But yeah, so I got into that and then what else I wanted to talk about was I saw Rogue One last night and it was good. I liked it. I really liked it a lot. I just had... I think I'll get more emotionally attached the second time around. No spoilers at all, of course. But um, I'll get more emotionally attached the second time around, I think. Because for some reason with this one, the first time watching it, it was very hard for me to get emotionally attached to the characters. It was a good movie. It was a really good movie. I did get emotionally attached to uh, K2SO. I loved the droid. He was hilarious. He was so great. But everybody else... I don't know what it was, like I was telling my friend Adri last night, was, um, I think it was because some of them, I couldn't understand their names, um, sometimes I'm not very, like, I, I can't pick up on names really fast or whatever, like, it's just something with my hearing, I don't know, but if something's spoken too fast or, like, mumbled, I have a very hard time understanding it, and it takes me about two or three times to see the movie, especially with accents and stuff, I have a hard time understanding. Um, but I didn't get as emotionally attached as I did with The Force Awakens, which I loved The Force Awakens. All the characters were so great. But Rogue One was really, really good. I will definitely go watch it again, and like I said, I will probably definitely be more attached to them the second time around. But that happened, and then... I guess the last update is I started rewatching Merlin again. Um, I got, the first time I was watching it, I got to about season three, I want to say. And then just everything got in the way and I stopped watching it and I started watching other stuff. It wasn't that like I wanted to stop watching it, I just kind of didn't have the time to watch it. But now <laughs> I'm watching again from season one because I didn't really remember everything and oh my gosh, I'm like... I really kind of want to cosplay Merlin to um, WonderCon this year, which I still need to get my tickets, but now my cosplay plans are changing and I kind of really want to cosplay Merlin because it would be really fun to knit his scarf too, because I'm starting knitting again. I have um, Newt Scamander's scarf over there that I'm actually knitting his scarf for a <laughs> Newt cosplay as well, but I kind of did more of a, um, I got a coat from Forever 21. That's like a more of a modernized kind of like female Newt Scamander, if that makes sense. Um, that one would be more like a casual closet cosplay, I would call it. But I am waiting for my hot cash coupons to come due so I can get his legit coat 
from Hot Topic so then I can get the wig and I can just go all out and it will be so much fun because I really want to cosplay Newt Scamander. But I still want to cosplay Morticia Adams if anybody saw that Instagram post from forever ago. So I'll just have to start working on that dress as well because that con's in April, but I think I can do it. I think I got it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's that's pretty much what's been happening now. I am we I am at the 10 minute mark, 10 minute 30 seconds kind of. Um, I feel like I talk really fast. I still really love Overwatch. I just didn't get to play the winter update, which was really sad. Um, at least it wasn't as cool as the Halloween update with like all the skins and everything, but I still wanted to play it, but I didn't get to. Um, Junkrat's still great. I'm still working on my Tracer cosplay. That one's going to be really fun because I want to crochet lights into it. That one's going to be really cool. Um, I'm happy to finally get commissions out of the way and like work on other stuff, like personal stuff for now. I think I'm going to close my commissions for a little bit. So I haven't gotten any recently, but just to like take a breather and be able to do stuff and start the new year, I'm thinking about doing like I've seen so many other people do and I feel like I'm a, a copycat but I don't want to be but like it's something that looks fun and that like why would I deny myself something that I think I would enjoy and I would enjoy editing and putting on this channel which is um plan with me's because I do have planners I have two of them I have a business and a personal one and I think I would probably do my biz no my personal one because that's like a little more fun to mess with the layout and stuff like that I might start doing plan with me's for that one. It would probably only be like once a month, maybe once every other month. It just depends on when I have the time to sit down and do it. I still want to do one for the month of January. Um, while it's still the beginning of January, <laughs> you know what I mean? But yes. Um, oh, excuse me. I had like a bunch of coffee. Um, I think the next one, I'm going to start talking about other stuff that I wanted to talk about because I kind of want to use this as a discussion platform as well, um, which I posted a tweet about that, a tweet or something like that forever ago, I don't know. But yeah, these little mad little chatters are fun. I love just getting it out there and talking to you guys and I get new subscribers like every couple days. It's really, because I'm like, I haven't posted anything in a while, you guys, and I'm so sorry. But like every once in a while I get an email and it's like, so-and-so has subscribed to your YouTube channel. I'm just like, what? How are you guys fine? But like, ugh, it's so great. It's fun. I'm having a lot of fun here. I'm making a lot of friends. Um, and let's just, here's to 2017. <laughs> so yeah, well, guess that's it so thanks for watching guys all my links are down in the description box below I have Facebook Tumblr Twitter Instagram I'm mainly on Twitter and Instagram and sometimes I post on snapchat I post pictures of my dog because for those of you who don't know I did get a corgi puppy and she's precious so you can find me on all those links down below I also have an Etsy shop so you can check that out and I will see all of you next time around bye